fireworks display ended a little bit earlier and the rodeo grounds here are being cleared out as we speak, but you can see that there are still some lingering fans here in the stands. And if we pan over, you can see the party is still going on. We've got some dancing and some music down there. Earlier tonight, it was all about the rodeo, all about country. Here's a look at the Folsom Pro Rodeo. There ain't nothing like a mutton bust in at the Folsom Pro Rodeo. Kids cling on to sheep for their chance at glory. The first place winner hanging on the longest to the delight of the crowd. How did you do it? Hold on really, really tight. The second place finisher gets props from his grandpa. I'm proud of you. You understand that? Papa loves you so much. As he celebrates his strength and revels in the ride, which, by the way, is harder than it looks. It was like being on a horse, but it was running, trying to kill me off. We asked what he's doing with his winnings. I think I want to save it for something expensive. The Folsom Pro Rodeo is in its 62nd year, and for families who flock here, they are the true lifeline that makes that banner so beautiful. It's a way to celebrate Independence Day. We call it a showdio. We're more than just a rodeo. Grand Marshal Christine Keeble says all three nights of the event sold out. That's a total of 21,000 people in the stands. We made it such a special event for the families in the area and the fireworks. And it's just the total package for July 4th. From truck wagon racing to bronc riding, there's something here for everyone, newbies. This is my first time. And rodeo regulars. My favorite part about coming to the rodeo is the action, the bulls, the horses, all of it. It's so fun to watch. This couple rocks these American flag overalls every year they come, and they like called me out for my outfit. It's a little <laughs> warm out. What are you doing? Where's your tank top? In the heat, everyone's doing what they can to stay cool. Lemonade. <laughs> Definitely. And shade. Yeah. Others are taking a more direct approach. I decided the fan right there, I just stood in front of it. Pouring cold water on me, it's really hot. Is it helping? Uh, yeah, it does a little bit for till it dries. But it's all worth it. I've been out here in Folsom doing this rodeo for approximately 20, 20 years. This is actually one of the, my most favorite rodeos. It's a great, great community involvement here. That's what's really nice. And you can see the folks here are wasting no time clearing out the area, getting all the bullpens organized and out of here. Again, this was a sold out event and organizers tell us for next year's Folsom Pro Rodeo, it's best to get your tickets as early as possible. Reporting live in Folsom tonight, Orca Amanda KCRA 3 News. Orca, it looks like a fun event. I'll have to remember that about the tickets next year. Thank you so much.